Our world-class fighters are testing history's most lethal weapons. Fire! Using 21st century science, we'll see what happens when the two warriors go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. No rules, no safety, no mercy. It's a duel to the death to decide who is the deadliest warrior. Epion versus Voltron. I am real excited about this fight. I can't wait to see the results of the simulation, but before we run them, my initial prediction is that Voltron has a big advantage, no doubt. It has longer range weaponry. We've seen how much of an advantage long range weapons have on the battlefield, particularly in the Snake vs. Rambo episode. While although Rambo did have a slight advantage at long range, it turned out with the Medusa, it was only slight. And Snake had longer range at medium range as well. So combine that with Snake's stealth and speed at long range and medium range, that allowed him to have the most decisive victory in the main episodes that we've seen so far. So range has a big difference in the outcome of matches. And the harder you can hit at a longer range is going to give you a huge advantage. And Epion does not have range outside of what its sword can cut. This is reflected in its creator, Dre's Kushinaga's ideals of chivalry, which can be honorable, but it can be a big disadvantage on the battlefield. So Voltron can try and bombard Epion at longer range than Epion can cut with its sword or heat rod. But here's why I think that's going to be overruled in this fight. Epion is a lot faster than Voltron is. We've seen Voltron display not unimpressive speed, but Epion has sped from space to a certain part on Earth very quickly. It's showed combat abilities at very fast speeds, combined with the Zero System, which is going to give its pilot Zex Marquis some more insight into the battlefield at faster speeds than the pilots of Voltron can see. It's going to give him an initiative advantage as well, and given all these things combined with Epion's greater durability that we've seen between the two, I think a bombardment at long range wouldn't overcome Epion's durability before Zex can speed in there and cut Voltron to pieces. So, and personally, I think Zex is the better pilot as well. I mean, there's only one of him, there's five of the Voltron crew. Not to... I mean, this isn't taking away from their piloting abilities at all. I mean, Keith is a very good pilot and commander, and his crew is top of the line, but I think this is Zek's fight to lose. I think he's the better pilot, and I think he has the better weapon. And I think that that is going to allow Epion to win this match. So, let's run the sim and see who is the deadliest fictional warrior.
After the course of a thousand battles, Epion won 536 in time, and Voltron won only 464 fights. Now there are three main contributing factors. Firstly, Epion had a much greater speed. Secondly, Zero System allows the pilot to uh, see all possible outcomes and therefore he can predict all enemy movements, which gives him a great advantage. And lastly, Epion's armor uh, is made of Gundam alloy. So, despite um, Voltron's greater long, greater long range weapon, Epion's armor was uh, too great to be matched. So, the deadliest fictional warrior is Epion.